So we start at the Highgate Hotel. Now, if you want to put your bike somewhere within a town centre that's safe and secure, Highgate Hotel is the place to be. And you can find out more about them in the book. But as soon as you come out, look, you're right in the centre of Kendall. And what you need to do is to get into the right side because that's the way that we're going to go. But as we climb out, we start our mini adventure. Now, normally, I would go straight on at this point, and we would go over the, the ferry at Windermere. But the ferry caught fire and it has been decided that it needs a new engine so the ferry isn't operating which is a bit of a shame so we shall just take an alternative route we've just come out of Kendall and Windermere is only seven miles away and Ambleside approximately 12 I think it is which gets you right into the heart of the Lake District and that's where we're heading we're going to head around Windermere into Ambleside and then well you'll just have to wait and see oh autumn's coming look leaves are changing oh no so just before we hit Ambleside we're going to turn left and you'll see the signs Coniston Hawkshead Langdale take this over the little bridge let the scene retake our eyes hostage we're coming to the outskirts of Hawk's Head now And Hawk's Head has a claim to fame. Its claim to fame is, it is where I was when I decided that technology had allowed cameras to become smaller and that motorbike TV would be born. It's also home to the clothing firm, Hawkshead. Do an awful lot of mail order. But what I'll do is I'll give you a little bit of a look round. It's a lovely little village actually is Hawkshead. Cafes, pubs, gift shops, ice cream. It also promotes quite heavily Beatrix Potter because Beatrix Potter, where she used to live, her farm 
is just on the outskirts of Hawkshead. So having stopped in Hawkshead and had a little bit of a wander around doing the shopping trot the clothing store Hawkshead does have some good stuff in actually it does it's a good it, it's a lovely shop but as we retrace our route slightly we're going to be taking this turning to the left you've got a brown sign that says Brantwood and that's the road to take and as you get to the top here that large or the tallest one just up there that's the old man of Coniston Copper mines abound round here, or used to anyhow. Yep, yeah, the leaves are definitely changing. We're just at the end of the first week of September. And the change is starting to take effect. So as we come down the bottom of the hill, straight in front of us is Coniston. And just along here, there is a parking area. So let's go and have a look at Coniston water. There is one thing I know for a fact. Last time I was here, this water wasn't that high. So Coniston has been topped up. But will you just look? at that. Famous of course because of Donald Campbell. World record attempt on the water. Flipped the boat and was killed instantly. And recently, well a couple of years ago, it was it was brought back up again. Somebody's restored it and they're testing it out at the moment. It's been on the news. But what you have over there, that's the uh, the launch area, the pier for a boat that's called Steam Yacht Gondola. That is the old manor Coniston and this area is renowned for copper mines so copper mines were on the old manor of Coniston. There's also some quarry works that you can see on the side. A beautiful stretch of water. You've gone on maybe Oldswater steamers, but I have to say steam, steam Yacht Gondola takes it to a whole new level. If you get here on a nice day, it's a great place just to relax and soak in the view. However, let us continue. Beautiful through the trees today. If you continue down the other side of the lake, you've also got Brantwood. And Brantwood is a historic house. A gentleman by the name of John Ruskin based himself there and renowned for doing various things, especially haunting the house, as I discovered a few years ago when I went and I came back downstairs and said has anybody ever mentioned anything about ghosts? 
I said, what do you mean? So I told her where I'd been and where I'd been stood. And she says, oh yeah, that was his bedroom and that was the window that he used to sit on a chair and just look out of. Well, there you go. Believe it or believe it not, there is something to it, in my little opinion. So we're now heading into Coniston, overlooked by the old man of Coniston and son of Coniston, or son of old man. It's a rugged, rugged hill, isn't it? <laughs> As you come in, there's a couple of places you can stop and have something to eat and drink. Just coming up here now, the white building on the right, that's the Crown Inn. That's a good place to stop and just behind it, you've got a cafe. There it is there, Meadow Car. So a couple of places to stop and have something to eat and drink. And that gives you the game away, the Copper Mines, Lakes, Cottages, self-catering. But we're going to just spin round, and we're going to head down towards where you can get the gondola. <coughs> but before we get there, there's something else. I've just noticed even the local school is called the John Ruskin School. Brant was a, is a nice place to go to, it's a lovely house to walk around actually, it really is. Now as you come down this, this road, there's an industrial estate, just a small industrial estate, straight ahead. And if you go down here, you come across the Coniston Fudge Company. You can buy three chunks, you get the fourth one free, you get 25%, well you do at the moment. So you get four huge chunks for around about eight, nine quid. By the time you finish them, you're half a stone heavier. So we come down towards Coniston Water and this is where you come down to get the gondola. It will take you across to Brantwood, it's one of the stops, you can get off, go and have a look round, come back out and get back on. That's it there, tea room, cafe. It does say Windermere via the ferry there, but currently the ferry's out of action, it caught fire. And it's been declared that it needs a new engine and it hasn't been repaired yet in 2018. So we're doing a bit of a loop, really taking us back to Ambleside, in that we got to Ambleside and we came down to Hawkshead, and then went over the tops and dropped down into Coniston, 
and now we're going to make our way back up another valley towards Ambleside. It's just a nicer route than going down onto the onto the main road. But what I do like about this road, especially heading this way, there's a little stretch of water that we're just coming up to. And it's so tranquil to sit there and to watch the trout rising. Oh man! It's a beautiful stretch of water. The other aspect that you'll see when you come this way is straight in front you've got the mountains of the Langdales. My second favourite dale in the whole of Cumbria. Well, the it's on equal footing with Borrowdale. I love Borrowdale and I love Langdale. There it is there, look. There you've got the mountains of Langdale. Aren't they just stunning? And as we're coming down here, to the left there, Langdale has, or the top of Langdale, has the highest mountain in England, Scarfell Pike. Now towards the start of this mini adventure we came from Kendal through Windermere and then at Ambleside and as we left Ambleside that's the junction that we turned left at to go down to Hawkshead so as you can see we've done a, a nice loop that if you take your time and enjoy the countryside and partake in steam yacht gondola or Brantwood or walking round Hawkshead it'll take you all day you won't do many miles but you'll have a lot of smiles and as you go around this little loop here we turn right which will take us back down towards Kendal So all you have to do is continue on this road and that's where it will take you. So this mini adventure comes to an end here because the road is just straightforward to get to Kendall. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, rubber side down, ride safe and until the next time we ride on an adventure together. Bye bye for now.